Hello everybody, this is General Snivy and welcome back to more of the Earthbound Blind playthrough. In today's session, it could very well be the final session of the game. Who knows if we're actually going to beat the game or not. There's only one way to find out and that is to just dive right on in and get this party going. So here we go. All right, there is one thing that's worth mentioning right now before we get started. If you were there for uh, live streams that occurred on Wednesday as well as uh, yesterday of this week, which was on March 6th and March 7th, 2019, um, I was having some problems. On Wednesday, I had to go out of the house and run some errands for mom, and that took a lot longer than originally anticipated to complete. As my internet continues to shit itself as I'm talking. But regardless, back to what I was saying. Then, on yesterday's stream, I attempted to stream again the same exact thing. Which was Banjo-Kazooie and trying to speed run through the game. Well, during the stream, my internet decided to have freaking diarrhea and just shat its pants. So... It literally was unstable as crap, and I could not recover the stream, so I had to outright cancel it because I was having internet problems. So, here's hoping things uh, work out better today. But regardless, um, after this playthrough is done, I think I'm going to be going back to doing 720p 60 streams if I possibly can. And the reason why is just due to the insufficient bandwidth I have. And according to Twitch's site, um, the bare minimum to uh, be able to stream at 1080p 60 frames per second is 4,500 kilobits per second, aka 4.5 megabits per second. However, my upload speed that I have from my ISP, I have 30 down and 5 up. So roughly... So, taking that into the equation, I'm using up approximately 95% of my bandwidth. Just trying to do 1080p60 and preserve quality. Well, hmm, until I can get a better internet package, I'm just going to have to go back to doing 720p60 streams after this playthrough is done. Because, from what I've noticed of 720p60 streams is... I don't have to hammer my bandwidth as hard, and I have more stable events overall. But that still doesn't mean that the internet can't shit itself every now and again, as proven when I was doing my playthrough of Paper Mario, where the internet completely shat itself for quite a while. <laughs> I'm just saying. And it also happened with Undertale as well, when I fought Omega Flowey and defeated it. Yeah, that was real fun to deal with, too. Like, shit, internet. <sighs> it's not like I even have satellite internet, either. I have cable. Cable internet. Through a cable line. It's not fiber optic, but even so, it's still serviceable and it gets the job done. And it's way better than satellite any day of the goddamn week. Come at me, bro. But regardless, that's my story of why... The past couple of streams have been short and also lackluster and also piss. That's the nicest way I can put it. Regardless, let's get on with the adventure. Yeah! -ha! The Mr. Saturns are incredible folk. And the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the pro... Prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone re resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Sat took Mr. Sat Saturn captive. Oh my god, I can't read. And stole the device. Oh dear. So it appears that Porky stole the prototype. Or something. If I read this correctly. Okay, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen by Porky. Okay, now we just gotta figure out where the hell they are. Excellent, excellent! Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Ananots, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together. 
and finally completed the face distorter. The purpose of this of the device is to enable in instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. Interesting. Zoom! Alright, let's check this thing out. Okay. Hmm. It did... It doesn't work. One thing is missing, but that material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Now that I think about it, I think I have, like, back on, on it. Eureka! That's it! With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zaxonite. I doubt that your mortal enemy Gigas or whatever will allow you to go to Onnit and get a piece of meteorite. By now, Onnit is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please, check them out before you leave. I wonder what Anna is like at this point in time. Good question. But, yeah, based on the doctor's actions, he's basically saying, yeah, we got a major problem here. What's also a major problem? My internet just literally shitting the bed over and over. Again, just due to unstable. Unstableness. Alrighty then. Before we head on off to on it. Of course, I'm going to be taking the good old doctor's advice, and we're going to go shopping. Let's do it. Um, let's see what you got. Uh, nothing here. Just the Horn of Life, Secret Herb, Spectra Postcard. Nope, I'm good here. How about you? Hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You can sell too. I'm Mr. Saturn doing. Can do all for you. What do you want? Zoom! Okay, let's see. We got a Bionic Slingshot, Travel Charm, Great Charm, Silver Bracelet, and a Red Ribbon. Nothing really here of uh, any use whatsoever. Let's see what you got for sale, my friend. Ooh, Flame Pendant. Uh, rain, Flame Pendant, Rain Pendant, Night Pendant... And all three of these items can only be equipped by Paula. And there's also a Piggy Jelly for $222. Hmm. Okay. Um, I may buy the Night Pendant. To... Wait, let me check my goods and see what I can uh, possibly sell. Um... Opa da ba da 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 da. Mm, no. Nothing really here. Okay. Alrighty then. I was thinking uh, I would be able to sell something and maybe get a little extra cash, clear my pockets a little. Doesn't look like that's going to be happening, so <laughs> we're going to have to make a withdrawal here, folks. Um, yes, let's go ahead and buy the... I'm going to buy the Night Pendant. And Paula. 164 to 177, not bad. Um, yeah, here you go. Well then, glad that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and deposit whatever cash we got from that transaction. Here we are. Hmm, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to buy a couple of Horns of Life, too. Because I know the Horn of Life can be a very useful item for bringing back the dead 
especially if uh, the users who can't, who can actually do that, can't do it due to lack of PP or just simply not being able to do so, i.e. they're dead, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, okay, uh... Might as well go ahead and re-equip the Casey bat because everyone is back together now. And since uh, the Magnuson bat was an uh, item for Ness that uh, he kind of needed because of him being on his own, uh, the Casey bat will still be of uh, very great importance and of great use too. Again, it just has that high chance of whizzing, if you know what I mean. Now, who has the, uh, death ray, whatever the frick it is? Uh, I could have swore I saw something that has something to do with a gun. With one of these characters here. I just, uh, can't figure out who it was. Oh, that was Paula. She has the moon, moon beam gun. Okay. Okay, Jeff can equip the weapon. And this is definitely a better item for him as opposed to uh, his previous weapon. Hey, Gears. Alrighty then. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, sell some stuff here. I'll sell the death ray. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go and withdraw 10 grand. That way I can uh, buy some horns of life. Horn of Life. Let's see. Who is going to hold it? I think I will give uh, two of them to Ness. Okay. Alright, we're done with the uh, Horns of Life. We have six of them, and I know uh, I could have bought some for Jeff too, but I think six Horns of Life is going to be more than enough. That's going to be more than enough to get us through to the next part of the game, at the very least. So... Guess with that in mind, we'll get ready to head on off to on it, which apparently has been taken over by Gigius' forces. <laughs> so that's going to be a fun time. I'm still surprised that we can even call our dad right now. Granted, I don't think he's on on it to begin with. He's over at on it, I meant to say. Can we call mom? Ness? Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son, who who would have thought he was such a brave kid? Oh, yeah, you're a hero, honey. Um, is that really it? Okay, let me make sure everything's good here. Yeah, I think we're good. 
Let's see if we can uh, teleport out of here to on it. Uh, PSI, teleport beta, and let's go. Off we go. And wow, something something definitely doesn't look right with this town. <laughs> Like it wasn't already not right before. Hmm, what we got in here? A hamburger. Okay. Well, it's good to see that the hamburger was even in there. Whoa, okay. There's no one in the drugstore or the burger shop. That sounds strange. Like, it isn't already strange enough as is. With, like, what seems to be the lack of a sun. Can we go in here? No. Can't go to the town hall. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Can we go to the hospital? No. No hospital visit. Can't go to the pizza place. Can't go to the arcade. And... Can't go to the bakery. Huh. It just seems as though this entire town is completely deserted. Like, everyone was completely erased off of the face of the earth. Almost as if uh, Grand Zono, Zeno from uh, Dragon Ball Super decided to wipe out the entire town of Onnit. If you know what I mean. It just seems that way, but, uh... I'm sure there's more to it than meets the eye. And it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to return home if we possibly can first and see if our mother's even here. Anywho, we have a new enemy, the Ghost of Starman. Well, this is definitely interesting. I wonder what these guys are like. Nice hit, dude. Okay. Oh, dear. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Jesus! Uh, 152, 170. No vulnerabilities. Oh, man. Are all enemies gonna be using Star Storm now? If so, that is incredibly dangerous. Okay, let's get moving. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up! There are plenty of creepy monsters running around on it now. The townspeople are... Are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some pizza? Yes, please. Thank you. Are you more relaxed? Okay. At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world. Don't you think? I think so. I appreciate the vote of confidence, King. Though, it is still, uh... Are you okay, sis? I can only help by keeping your items here. I support your whole heart you wholeheartedly. Don't you... Don't get your, yourself knocked off. I will be strong while you're gone. Oh, it's my line now. Oops. Well, what the hey? We'll see you. Well, I'm glad to see that you're okay. And I'm glad to see that everyone seems to be doing just fine. Or at least doing fine here within this house. But it's not like everyone just suddenly upped and vanished. What's actually going on here is that everyone barricaded themselves in the home since the whole uh, Starman invasion even began here on it. So this is definitely going to be interesting, to say the least. Alright, let's go. Let's get moving here. We have 
Of course, the ghost of Starman and an evil eye. Hmm. Interesting group of enemies we have here, don't... Huh. Actually, now that I think about it, it probably would have been a better idea to save at on it, aka back at home. Since uh, we can technically heal for free there and not worry about wasting PP in order to get back to on it. Oh crap, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Oh dear. I was mashing B like a freaking idiot. Okay. Oh dear, Poe is now feeling strange. Okay, at least the ghost of Starman is taken care of. Honestly, he is definitely the most dangerous enemy here, so if you're doing any sort of target prioritization, definitely go for the uh, Ghost of Starman first. Okay. Well, that was pretty dangerous. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to grind here for a little bit, too. So that way, when, uh, if we end up getting our ass kicked, Oh, broke, fixed a broken harmonica. The broken b harmonica became the baddest beam. Ooh! <laughs> I wonder what that is. Let's check it out. Uh, baddest beam. Jeff can equip the weapon. It's a weapon! Who knew? Uh... Okay, so it's not as strong as the moonbeam moon beam gun. But, hey, at least it's another weapon. So, that's pretty neat. Hmm. Okay. I've also noticed that the phone lines are now reduced to just, uh, dad, uh... Mock Pizza and uh, Static Club. Perhaps the reason why is just due to the fact that everyone's barricaded in their homes, and of course that happens. This is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, and of course it's gonna hit like a freaking truck. Well, thank God I saved my progress just before exiting my home. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, save people before they end up dying. Ah, oh, crap. Of course that happened. Damn it! We're all gonna die. We are all going to freaking die. Great. Yep, we're all dead. Just because we got hit with a freaking back attack. Damn it, man. Starstorm Omega. Jesus. Ah, man, that sucked. Wow. That's what happens if you uh, end up getting your... getting hit behind, especially at this point in the game. Are you kidding me? That didn't bring back everyone? Well, that's lame. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, let's try this instead then. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, so definitely know exactly what it is I have to do here now. And that is, upon resting with Ness, I then have to use him to bring back everyone from the dead and rest again. In order to fully restore our PP. For everyone. That's basically what you have to do. Okay. Wow, it just seems like the Ghost of Starman are very, very fast. Some of the fastest enemies you'll ever see in this entire game. Oh, that was close. And with that, Paula's now received her next level up, and this is the first one of the day. Which is sweet. She is now level 70. Her maximum HP went up by 2. And that is it. Lame. I was kind of thinking it was going to be another one of those surprise attacks. Okay. So let's try something different instead. Uh. Huh. Mechanical Octobot. <laughs> Uh, I feel like we've seen it before. Then again, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure, but regardless. Definitely going to uh, equip the shield. Make sure everyone is ready for the freaking Star Storm spam. Okay. Everyone's pow... Protected by Psychic Shield, so that way... This... When this strikes... This will... Deal damage against the enemies. Instead... Alright. Cool. Phew! Alright, so that's basically what you have to do now. You have to use shield at the start of the fight, otherwise you're not going to be able to survive for very long. But hey, at least with this, Ness has reached level 81. Awesome. His defense went up by 1, guts by 1, maximum HP by 3. Jeff also received a level up as he is now level 69, baby. Oh yeah, quite a dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> His maximum HP went up by 3, and that is it. Wow, that is really unfortunate. Okay, looks like everyone barricaded their, themselves in there. So, that does make sense. At least at this point, we are slowly getting stronger. So, I'm happy about that. Alright, let's try this one. This may not be as strong as Omega, but it will still be sufficient enough. At least I hope. Okay, good. Alright, so that just made the attack disappear rather than reflect it back. So, that's interesting. Hmm. Another thing I've noticed that uh, the Ghost of Starman, whenever they're whispering a countdown like 3, 2, 1, that means they're about to unleash... Uh, Starstorm Omega. And when that happens, oh my god, that is going to be an absolute massacre. So, be sure to finish them off before they can finish their countdown. As I've clearly demonstrated, it is incredibly devastating and powerful. So, that's something to keep in mind. Ouch. Come on, man. Really? Phew! Alright. That wasn't too bad. As long as the enemies are on their own, 
we can take him without too much of a problem. However, when they're grouped together, like here, that's when things really start to get hectic. So, of course, we got some work to do here. Take that. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, crap. Of course that happened too. Fantastic. Let's try praying. Maybe that'll do something. Okay, let's just go with this one. Oh, come on, really? Oh, the freezing. Okay. Really? Why would you use that on Ness even though he's perfectly fine? Oh, great. Just great. Paula got completely diamondized, which isn't good. Hmm. Okay, why'd you use that on the evil eye? Numbness. Why does this have to be such a big freaking pain in the ass? Let's try this. Of course that didn't work. God damn it! All right, let's just auto fight and see what we can do here. And of course that happened. Come on. Why does this evil eye have to be such a freaking pain in the ass? Seriously, screw this goddamn thing. Oh, come on. You basically sealed everyone's fate now. Damn it, Poe. You killed us all. Yep, he killed us all because of uh, him feeling strange. Alright, can we just fast forward this and just hurry up to the point where we lose? That way we can get back on our feet and try this stupid crap again. Thank you. Okay, at least the shield did help destroy the enemy once again, but it still is very annoying that uh, this is even still a thing. Great. Great. I wonder if there's any sort of items out there that can help protect against feeling strange. I'm surprised that Poe was even able to finish that guy off. But hey, at least he gained a truckload of experience of 143,766 experience. And with that, he has now reached level 65. Let's see how many levels he receives from this. His offense went up by one, maximum HP by three, PP by two, and another one. That's two. He's now level 66. His offense went up by two, defense by three, speed by one, maximum HP by three, PP by two, and that's it. 
Okay. Well, I'm happy to see that he received so many level ups and everything, but it still sucks that uh, we still have this. Screw it. Let's just mirror. And of course, that didn't work. God damn it. Ouch. Ouchy ouch. Okay. I'm surprised Poe even managed to survive that, to be honest. I really am surprised. But he did it. He managed to do it somehow. And we finally made it back home. God damn. This is definitely a major pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and eat some pizza. That way Poe can recover all of his PP. Uh, no. Psychic power. Wait, what does Omega do again? Okay. Okay, the event effects of healing, uh, whatever, revives a friend who has become unconscious and completely maxes out their, the person's HP when revived. Okay. Okay. Well, that was definitely a very, very interesting experience and a half. That's for sure. Just because of the fact that the enemies are so strong. Again, this is to be expected since we are so close to the end of the game. All the strongest enemies in the entire game are going to start coming at us like freaking raging bulls. All right. Maybe we should try taking out the evil eye first. That probably would be the best idea. That way it doesn't completely wreck us and throw us into shock and just numb us into oblivion. Ow. And that's exactly what I was afraid of. It was going to... Do that, stupid crap. Now everyone's feeling strange again. And so, we are all just simply dead. Yep. Paula's dead. Jeff is just go going to die too. Ness is going to keep missing and whiffing every single freaking attack he manages to throw down. It's just going to be awful. It's going to be an awful experience. Okay, note to self, I'm going back to using that uh, other bat that Ness has. Because this is just getting absolutely nowhere. Okay. Yeah, Casey Bat, as powerful as it is, it may be considered the strongest bat in the entire game, but damn does it with a lot. And... What good is power if you can't even hit a freaking target with it? Like, seriously. How good is that? It isn't. Trust me. Alright. All right, at least everyone's basically back up on their feet again. Except Ness, though he does have a large amount of HP, he's not at his absolute maximum, but it's close enough. And honestly, it's close enough. Great. Just great. 
Uh, screw it. Let's just use it and see what happens. Nice. Too bad that didn't work on the Ghost of Starman for some reason. Why the hell didn't it work? Okay, this should be reflected right back. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this up. Damn it, Paula. There we go. Whew. Another pretty close call, but again, at least we are able to stand up against the enemies, at least for the most part. Again, um, it's just due to the fact that uh, some enemies are really annoying with uh, certain attacks causing certain status elements. And once they happen, but yeah, there's just no recovery most of the time. But we're, we're going to power through this somehow, one way or another. We've powered through many, many obstacles to get to this point in the game. And of course, we're going to continue to battle our way through everything. Dash all of you. Bye bye, evil eye. This is gonna hurt. Of course, because that outsped frickin' Paula. Alright, at least with the shield, uh, Paula's sacrifice will not be in vain. Let's just deal with the rest of these frickin' people here, hopefully. There you go, good hit, that's what I like to see. Alright, um, I guess one thing that's worth talking about today is, I did talk about this during my previous stream when I was playing through and speedrunning Banjo-Kazooie this past week. More or less uh, yesterday and the day before, but this more or less came from yesterday, really. Actually, I'll get into that in a minute, because Jeff received a level up. He's now level 70. Sweet. His offense went up by 1, speed by 1, guts by 1, maximum HP by 1, and that is it. But Poe has also received a level up. He's now level 67. Sweet. His offense went up by 2, defense by 2, IQ by 1, maximum HP by 2, and PV by 1. Sweet. Happy to see that. That's for sure. Actually, Life Up Omega would be a better idea here. There we are. <laughs> that way we aren't wasting so much frickin' PP just to uh, heal everyone. Okay, he's uh, obviously barricaded himself. Don't blame him at all, that one little bit. Okay, at least we finally made it to the meteorite. There's something shiny. You want to try and get it? Yes. Paula got the meteorite piece. Okay. Well, with that, we can finally get out of here. Of course, we still need to find a good amount of space to use uh, teleportation uh, beta. And there doesn't seem to be very much space to work with, unfortunately. Not until we can get down from the mountain. So, we need to get moving here. I guess one thing I could do is, since I have the, the piece that I need... I could intentionally die in order to warp back to uh, our home and then teleport from there. But... But I really don't want to do that. At least not right now. 
Okay. Let's just deal with these ass hats here as soon as we possibly can. Wow, Paula is surprisingly the slowest out of the entire party. That's kind of surprising, because for a large part of the game, she was the fastest. So what's up with that? I really don't know. <laughs> it tried to steal something, but it failed. Definitely glad that it failed. Otherwise, I don't know what it can steal. But if it does steal something, I'm gonna guess it'll try to steal a recovery item. I don't think it can steal weapons or equipment or anything like that. So, that is something to keep in mind, I guess. Oh, of course it doesn't have freaking PP. It's a robot. It's not really anything to be expected. Alright, let's finish this thing up. Thank you very much, and goodbye. And with that, Paula's now level 71! Sweet! Her offense went up by 2, speed by 1, guts by 1, vitality by 1, IQ by 2, maximum HP by 2, and PP by 10. That is sweet. Excellent level up there, Paula. That's what I like to see. Maybe this will be enough space to uh, use Teleport Beta. We'll see. Let's go. There we go. Perfect. Phew! Made it back to Saturn Valley with uh, minimum injuries. That's good to know. Okay. Phew! Definitely glad that we finally made it back to Saturn Valley in one piece. That was quite a dangerous endeavor, that's for sure. Of course, we still need to figure out uh, why on it is taken over like that in the first place. Hmm. If I only had a piece of the meteorite, um, okay. Thankfully, we do have such a thing, so here you go. Ah, yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. Alright, leave everything to us and you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Alrighty then. We'll go ahead and take his advice, even though we've already taken the rest that we needed. Let's sleep. Okay, and that should be considered done, right? Finally, it's complete! The Phase Distorter Version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in! There's just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you are optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Um... Hmm. That is a good question. And he does bring up a good point, and that is, I think once you uh, go through this thing, you can't return to the world again. Ow! My back! So... I think I got everything I need, so I'm good to go. Let's do this. Even if you're not 100% perfectly, completely ready. Well, should you be as prepared as possible, it would be best. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Good. At last, the time has come. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions, so in other words, it can heal you. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. 
All right, let's get on in and get ready for the fight of our lives. Let's do it. Input your command. Uh, nothing really at the moment. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we cannot return at this very point in time. So once you save progress with this machine, there is no going back. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. But I think I do have everything I'm ever going to need, so let's go ahead and save our progress. And besides, I do have a save state to just before all of this even began anyway, so if anything goes wrong, I can always go back at any time. So if you're playing this off of the SNES Classic Edition, or if you're playing this on Wii U Virtual Console, you do have that... Uh, Opportunity to go back at any time just by simply creating a save state Greetings, so you are finally here So I am Excellent you are truly excellent. There's only a little time left. There's only a little time left I'll give you the last power. I must go now. My planet needs me Pope became conscious of Psychic Power, uh, Star Storm, Omega, aka the final PK spell you will ever learn in this entire game, I think. Then again, maybe some other characters will learn more abilities as they level up and become stronger. We'll see. Kidnapped, I was doing. Kidnapped, bad guy. Bad guy gone, zoom! Where to the past? Ding, ding! Broken face distorter. Ah, horn of life. Nice. <laughs> huh. I wonder. If re I wonder why there's two face distorters here. There's ours, plus the broken one here. Could that mean something? Who knows? What's this? This looks like something that could uh, possibly be extended to that area there. Because, oddly enough, we actually went through that hole before when we were in the Lost World area. So, maybe this can be used to go back at some point. Though, for right now, this... Whoa! What the deuce? The face distorter has been completed. We can finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gigius is attacking from our exact location, but he is attacking from many years in the past. Oh dear. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... But what? You must warp to the past and fight, but... But what? I don't understand why he's saying but... Regardless, we're going to take their word for, for no, uh, bleh. We're going to take their word for it, and we're going to jump into the past. Using the next phase distorter, which is oh, all the way over here. We here too, doing... Uh... Okay. Also, now you decide to move after all this time of me talking to you multiple times. What the deuce? In order to, to defeat Gigius, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. No kidding. This can be done by way of Phase Distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. 
The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gigius by traveling to the past? I do. Hmm. You accept this w while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yes. Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. Okay. It's almost as if we're going into the Matrix, folks. <laughs> this is quite interesting. And quite a strange way of uh, being able to end the game. <laughs> Transferring our mind and souls into robots in order to be able to travel into the past. This is definitely quite an interesting revelation. Ness, Paula, Poe, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Ness, activate the Face Distorter 3 by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes, I will. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you save through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of the Memento, memento Undertaking. All right, here we go. Here we are. Welcome to the past. And as you can see, everyone here has been transformed into a robot. And I guess the reason why the Professor took off uh, Ness's hat is so that way he can easily be identified. Okay. Okay, so, uh... With the, uh, face distorter here, we can also use it, too, to, uh, fully heal ourselves and communicate with our father somehow. Who is this? Ness, do you have a cold or something? Your voice sounds kind of funny. Oh well, that's okay. Well, experience you in the next level, blah, 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 blah. Record my progress. All right. Let's go. Time for the final dungeon, I guess. Here we have a nuclear reactor robot and, of course, the ghost of Starman. This is definitely going to be a fun battle, let me tell you. Or at least a fun dungeon. <laughs> Considering the fact that we're so close to the end, that it's not even funny. Let's do this. Let's make sure everyone's fully protected. Ready to go. I just wonder though, if we end up dying, will uh, will it be like uh, as if uh, we return to where we were previously, or is it like an instant game over or something? I have no idea. Of course. Okay, 142 offense, 185 defense, no vulnerability, so let's just bash this thing and pray to God we can finish him off nice and quick. 
And of course, uh, just like many other enemies in the game that have a spherical shape, they explode upon dying, so you need to make sure you save those enemies for last if you can. But hey, at least with this, Ness has reached level 82. His offense went up by 1, maximum HP by 3, PP by 1, and that is it. A small level up, but it is a level up nonetheless. Ooh, what's this? A squatter demon? Well, this is definitely a very peculiar enemy. Oh dear. Ow. Oh, 158, 192 defense, roll roll the fire. Okay. Okay. It looks like this thing is just purely a face. Like, almost as if I'm fighting Andross from Star Fox. Almost. But not quite. Not quite the same. But it's still very interesting to say the least. Okay, Paula is unfortunately still poisoned. So let's go ahead and heal her if we can. Good. Glad that worked. All right, let's see what's around the bin. We have Ultimate Octobot and the Wild and Wooly Shambler. <laughs> Quite an interesting name. I wonder what that's all about. Regardless, uh, hopefully we can take it down relatively easily and it won't be the most annoying thing in existence. Ow. Let's see, offense 144, defense 171, no vulnerabilities. Ooh, nice hit! Let's see, 163, 181, roll the fire. Cool. Oh, oh, come on! Well, whatever, at least he didn't st steal a horn of life, so that's nice. Only thing he stole was a frickin' hamburger. I wonder if we can steal it back. I hope we can. Well, we're gonna find out now, and I'm probably gonna guess no. And, yeah, as I thought. It's just plain gone, and there's nothing we can do to get it back. And that just plain sucks. Oh well, not really much we can do. All right, let's deal with the freaking uh, ultimate Octobot first. Ouch. Oh, come on, really? Hmm, it seems like the nuclear-powered uh, enemy here. It seems to be the fastest enemy on the battlefield. That's pretty interesting. Also super annoying. Since it just seems like it's just going to continuously heal itself after every turn. And that looks like it's going to be a yes. So this is going to be dragged out for quite some time. Especially if people keep missing over and over again. There we go. Finally, it's dead. And of course, it does love to explode and hurt everyone, try to take everyone with it. But as long as you mash through the dialogue boxes fast enough, you should get through it just fine. And with that, Poe has reached level 68. His offense went by 4, defense by 2, speed by 3, guts by 1, vitality by 1, IQ by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 7, and PP by 4. Gotta say, that is a pretty excellent level up there, buddy. Definitely happy to see that. That is for sure. And I have a feeling that going this way was, uh, this leads to progression. Oh well, it's worth, uh, exploring this area anyway. Who knows? 
Maybe I'm terribly wrong. That leads to something magnificent. We'll see. Ah, crap. This isn't good. Ow. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Sure, Poe lost 100 HP, but even so... Oh! Oh, dear. Damn it! Flash Beta. Oh, how I hate it so much. Okay. Whew. Again, another very close call. And it looks like my internet just shat itself. I didn't even notice. Well, shit. Come on, you can get back to where you need to be. Come on, you can do it. We got a major problem here. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. We got a problem here. Okay, uh... Looking at the Twitch Inspector, let's see if I can figure out what's going on here. Okay, um, there was some unstable events. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, switching this back to 720p after we finish this playthrough. Because I don't want to change the quality like mid-playthrough. That is just, that'll just lead to inconsistency. Especially when you're downgrading. I mean, it's different if you're upgrading the quality, but it's also uh, a bit jarring, if you know what I mean. Okay. Alright, looks like everything got picked back up. Everything's stabilized again, so... Okay, crisis averted. Let's continue. Jeff has now reached level 71! His offense went up by one, defense by one, IQ by one, maximum HP by one, and that's it. Not the biggest level up out there, but it's still a very nice level up nonetheless. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got over here. We have, of course, another one of these buttholes again. Hooray! <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm. Wow. Maybe we are completely under leveled because the enemies are outspeeding us in just about every way possible. Which, uh, is very concerning. It always just seems like, uh, we're under leveled whenever we go to a new area. No matter how strong we seem to be. I don't know why that is. What the heck is that all about? I will never know. One thing I kind of wish is that, uh, kind of wish there was a bit of, uh, experience scaling, like, uh, depending on how long it takes or how many turns it takes to defeat an enemy your experience increases more and more. Of course, that could also lead to abuse and the exploitation of the system. And that would uh, be a very bad thing and make the game far too easy. Ooh, a present. What do we got? Super Bomb. Okay. And with that, Paula has also received a level up. Sweet. She's now level 72. Her offense went by one, defense by two, speed by one, IQ by 1, Luck by 2, Maximum HP by 2, and PP by 5. Awesome. Definitely happy to see that, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Just because we got hit by the enemy on the frickin' right before the enemy on the left even showed up. And now everyone's going to die. Just because we got hit from behind, and of course it had to be a goddamn ghost of Starman who had to appear from behind. Aw, oh, goddamn it, man. Alright, let's do 
deal with you. Put up a shield on the whoever's left alive. Oops. I meant to select Ghost of Star, man. Okay, at least the ghost of Starman is now dead. Alright, can we drain some PP from this thing? Because it looks like it does have some PP here. I'm gonna guess no. Yep, of course not. If it did, that would make the game far too easy. And totally fair. Screw you, game. Wait, I have a super bomb. Why don't I use it? Uh, wait. Goods. Here we go. Super bomb. There we go. Well, at least we got rid of the freaking bomb. Too bad it didn't really matter because of the fact that it, uh recovered itself basically instantaneously. All right. Thankfully, we were able to recover from that pretty easily. But it was still a very, very, very stressful experience. And it almost happened again. Thankfully, though, uh... Thankfully, though, we turned the tables and got the jump on them. This time around, anyway. Regardless, let's go. Wait, what am I doing? We need to do Shield Omega. PK Shield Omega. Otherwise, we'll get completely smacked by freaking PK Starstorm. And that's not something we need to have happen to us now, is it? Okay. Ooh, nice hit, Paula. Well done. It seems like whenever the robot explodes, the amount of targets it tends to attack is kind of randomized. It attacks between two party members to all party members. So that is pretty interesting and something that's definitely worth noting. What we got in here? Legendary Bat. Ooh, interesting. Um, I guess I will give one of the Horns of Life that uh, Ness has to Paula. That way she can give the Legendary Bat to Ness. And Ness can equip said bat. 255. Wow, same attack power as the K... Casey Bat. Wow. Awesome. Let me check that out. I hope it's not one of those bats that whips. Okay, good. It's just a uh, overall better bat. That is sweet. So he has the same attack power as the Casey Bat now, just minus the accuracy penalty, which is awesome. All right, let's uh, take care of this now, shall we? All right. All right, prepare to die because of your dumbass move. And there he goes. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, how I love seeing that. I love it when the enemy just KMSs because their own attack just got bounced right back at him multiple times over. <laughs> uh, that is so freaking sweet to see. And this is also sweet. Ness is now level 83. His offense went up by 3, defense by 1, guts by 1, vitality by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 9, and that is it. Great level up, Ness. 
great, great level up. All right, let's make sure Paula's fully healed up and good to go. Yes, she is. What's this? It's a portal. Huh. Interesting. All right, at least now we know where it is that we have to go to next. So, I guess first off, we're going to go back the way we came. I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, but I want to see what's in the other direction first. Or at least next, anyway. Ouch. Oh, come on, man. Ooh, nice one, dude. <laughs> nice one, Poe. Nice work. And with that, he has now reached level 69. Another filthy boy. <laughs> His maximum HP went up by 3, PP by 1, and that is it. Kind of a lackluster level up, to be honest, but that's something you gotta expect whenever you hit level 69 of any game ever. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Nice! Bye! Goodbye! <laughs> and with that, Jeff has now reached level 72! Awesome! His offense went up by 2, defense by 1, and speed by 3, guts by 2, IQ by 3, maximum HP by 3, and that is it. Overall, pretty dang good level up, if I do say so myself. And I'm definitely happy to see that my party is just getting so much stronger as we're getting through here. That is to be expected with any RPG ever as you're playing through the game, but I'm still happy to see that we're really making good strides to get through places like this where enemies were notoriously strong and kicking our ass before. But thankfully, that's no longer the case. They're not even that bad anymore. Granted, everyone has leveled up at least two or three times at this point in the dungeon, but even so, still happy with the results. Really? Why you gotta dodge? <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. Great job, Ness. Gotta love it when uh, he crits. Because he can deal, like, up to 800 damage when he crits an enemy with his strongest weapons. And I'm definitely happy he's able to do that now. Just imagine what it'll be like once he reaches level 100. I wonder if that's the maximum level in the game. I'm going to guess yes. Then again, it could be level 99. Who knows? Ooh, a present. We have a super bomb. And Paula has received a level up. She's now level 73. Awesome. Her offense went up by one, guts by one, maximum HP by one, and that is it. Not the best level up out there, but it's still better than nothing, that's for sure. All right, everyone's fully healed and ready, ready to die. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, at least that wasn't too bad. It was just a beam. Nothing really too fancy there. And thank God it wasn't another Ghost of Starman. Otherwise, that would have been incredibly bad. Especially considering the fact that the Ghost of Starman can use PK Star Storm and also has Star Storm Omega, which is which is even stronger than Alpha. But that is to be expected, after all, of such a powerful spell. Just saying. And I'm talking like as if we're playing a Final Fantasy game here. And of course that happened. Fantastic. And someone's dead. Yep, of course. Uh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. At least we were able to get back up on our feet despite that little mistake we made. And that happened. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay, so healing beta can heal strangeness in people, so that's definitely something worth noting. Granted, I should have noted that way earlier in the playthrough, but oh well. Not exactly something we can really worry about now. Oh, come on, seriously? Oh wow, he stole the freaking gruel from us. <laughs> Whatever, it's not like I really wanted it anyway. What we got? Psychic Caramel. Nice. At least with that, we should be able to recover some PP from it, so that's sweet. Repair. Thank you. Alright, nothing over here. So coming back here was kind of a waste of time. But at the same time as well... It wasn't that big of a waste. Simply due to the fact that we can continue fighting enemies and get stronger. And besides, this will help us quite a bit in the end, too. So, uh, that way, when we go into the final battle, we'll be plenty strong when we fight Gigius himself. So, that is something that's definitely worth noting. Alright, here we go. Let's head back the way we came once more and continue on our journey and get ready for the end. Nighty night. Ultimate Octobot. <laughs> uh, don't confuse it for an Autobot. Seriously, don't do it. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you will be deceived by a Decepticon, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, enough about that. Let's just continue. Oh yeah, there was a story I didn't really go into much detail of earlier, but uh, I guess I can go into detail now, since I have uh, the opportunity to do so. Anyway, um, on Wednesday I had to run out of the house and take care of some errands for Mom, and I also had to do something for myself too. Um, I recently, uh, packed up my chair, I managed to get it apart, and wow, Paula and Jeff are both dead. God damn it. Alright. God damn it, of course they would steal something else from us. Well, that was annoying. And Poe has finally reached level 70! Sweet! His offense went up by 3, defense by 3, maximum HP by 2, PP by 1, and that is it. Still, I'm happy to see that he gained such uh, good stats overall. And surprise attack! Cool. Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on, really? Alrighty then, that's fine. All right, back to what I was saying before. Uh, in a minute. Right now, Jeff has received a level up. He's now level 73. His maximum HP went up by two, and that is it. Kind of a lame level up. All right, back to the story now. Hopefully with no more interruptions. Um, when it came to uh, taking care of that one task, after getting my uh, new chair apart, which was a massive pain in the ass, by the way, um, I had to go to FedEx, which, in order to print out the return shipping label, because that's, uh, where Ewen, uh, that's what Ewen used to ship my chair to me in the first place. So, I went there, and I was behind, uh, not exactly the biggest line out there, but it was still a line nonetheless. The line was just really one woman, and, uh, she had to send out like five or six iPhones to her boyfriend, husband, whatever it is, to Nigeria. And I need a drink real quick. Ugh. Okay, so uh, 
Because of that, and due to the fact that Nigeria is infamous for uh, fraudulent activities, um, she was having some serious trouble getting clearance to be able to send those iPhones over there. So, it took me quite a while to even get something as simple as a dolly to get the chair out from uh, the trunk of my vehicle and bring it back into the FedEx building. So, um, it also didn't help with the fact that there was only like uh, two people working there that day. And I noticed that my camera just sent, suddenly froze and then jumped back into place. So, what the heck is that all about? I don't know. Anyway, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Everyone's going to die now. Yep, of course. Because I'm an idiot. Ow. <sighs> I'm an idiot. I should not have uh, done auto battle again. Okay, at least he was defeated before things went completely downhill. Alright, so, uh, back to my story again. Um... Thankfully, uh... Um, I did eventually get the chip return label that I needed printed out, and I was able to put it on the chair itself, and... My time spent there was a lot longer than I was originally anticipating. I was thinking I was going to be gone for like maybe 20-30 minutes tops. But it turned into like roughly an hour and a half. Simply due to the long wait time over at FedEx. So after I did that I also had to get gas for the vehicle too. And mom also wanted me to pick up a case of Propel. And uh, that's exactly what I did. So, um, that's the reason why, uh, Wednesday's stream was, uh, lackluster, due to, uh, the excessive running around, and it got really late by the time I got done. And with that, Ness is now level 84! Sweet! His offense went up by 2, speed by 2, guts by 2, luck by 1, maximum HP by 2, maximum PP by 2... And Paula received a level up as well. Awesome. She is now level 74. Her offense went up by 1. Maximum HP by 2. PP by 1. And that is it. Not the most spectacular of level ups out there. But it's still very nice to see. Alright. Let's recover everyone. Make sure everyone's back up on their feet. That is a yes. Everyone is good to go now. Let's go. Okay, let's actually do this battle proper this time. Make sure no one gets killed due to PK Starstorm. Ooh, nice one, dude. Bye-bye. See you later, dude. <laughs> oh, how I love being able to deflect that. Attacks back at enemies. I just hate it when it's done to me. That is what's really annoying. Okay. Explode, of course. Ouchie, ouch. Alright. That's done. Onward. All more to bigger and better things. And one thing that's worth mentioning, and I've just noticed this now, is that uh, Ness and Friends' uh, robotic forms, they kind of look like walking toasters. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but that's exactly what they look like. Frickin' toasters, of all things. Why toasters? Nobody will never know. But regardless... That's what they looked like. I mean, they are robots, and that's to be expected. But I've seen some good-looking robots in my day. I.e. Futurama is probably the gold standard of what robots should look like. 
But, again, that's just me and my personal opinion. Also, Chappie from, uh, well, Chappie, and of course, uh, Pathfinder from Apex Legends. He's also a good-looking robot. As well as the one robot from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare campaign, Synaptic. Uh, something like that. And I just noticed that the camera froze again. Why is it randomly freezing over and over? I don't know. But regardless, it is kind of concerning. I think eventually it is going to get to a point where uh, it'll freeze completely and uh, the only way to fix it is to do uh, one of those... One of those uh, deactivate and reactivate scene sources. Which I may have to end up doing if it does become completely frozen. We'll see. I don't know why it's freezing in the first place, but regardless, it is happening. And it's worth pointing out. Ouch. Ow. Well, Paul is dead. Phew, that was close. Way too close. 25,255. Not bad for experience. Alright, let's uh, make sure everyone's fully healed now. There we go. Finally, we made it back. What seemed like it was forever, we finally made it back to where we were previously. Of course, if we end up dying again... Oh! Hello, new enemy! Final Star Man! Oh dear. If I have to guess, he too knows PK Starstorm and is going to be extremely dangerous. So, best be prepared! Best be prepared for the worst. Okay, 178, 187, no vulnerabilities. Okay, so of course he would put up a shield. Let's try Thunder. And of course it didn't hit anyone. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Thankfully the Psychic Shield Omega helped us tremendously. Again, just due to the fact that the shield has the ability to... Uh, completely uh, bounce attacks back. And of course this happens. This is going to hurt like a freaking freight train. Ow! 400 damage each? Pretty much? Wow, okay. Ow. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure everyone is fully healed. And of course, Poe is on Depth's doorstep once again. <laughs> okay. This is fine. We'll just do this. Uh, recover, Beta, and Poe. Okay, now that uh, we're so freaking close to the end of the game, it's definitely going to be the hardest uh, push to the end as of yet, for sure. And Jeff has reached level 74, folks. That is awesome. His offense went up by 1, vitality by 1, maximum HP by 5, and, P and that is it for him. Poe also received a level up too, so that's awesome. He's now level 71. His offense went up by 2, defense by 1, speed by 1, guts by 1, vitality by 1, IQ by 1, maximum HP by 10, and PP by 3. Awesome. Basically, all stats were increased overall. That's what I like to see. I like seeing that very, very much. Alright, let's see what we got in here. 
We got more of this desolate past. It looks as though their entire timeline has been completely wiped out of all life. Like there's nothing here. It is a rather, a rather gloomy place. And we definitely need to do something about that. We really do. Ouch. And he's done. Bye-bye, dude. I wish that would uh, deflect onto the next enemy, too, after the main enemy has been defeated. That would be nice, but unfortunately, this is not one of those RPGs where that is the case. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, bash these enemies in. Nice and hard. And of course it would explode. Ouch. Okay. Glad that's done. Alright, let's continue. On to the next enemy! What do we have here? A Bionic Kraken. Wow, this is definitely new. I was not expecting something like this to appear. But, we'll definitely take a look and see what this thing is about. Okay, uh, 155, 195, no vulnerabilities, ouch, ouch, ouchy, ouch. Okay, at least, uh, Poe dodged the attack. Still, that hurt like a freaking freight train. And that's still hurting. I wonder if that's a psychic attack. And uh, I also wonder if that can be deflected. That is something I really want to investigate. Regardless, Paula received a level up again. That is awesome. She is now level 75, folks. Her offense went up by one, speed by two, guts by one, IQ by one, luck by one, maximum HP by three, and PP by four. Awesome. I'm definitely very happy to see that. That is for sure. Okay, what's this is a... Okay. There we go, that's better. Let's see what's in here. Whoa, now things are really starting to get weird. It looks like we're inside of uh, something's body. We're inside the body of something. I don't know what it is, but it's just plain creepy. And it's really creeping me out. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it looks as though the place is completely deserted, though. Whoa, is that him? Is that the final boss? Let me make sure everyone's fully healed. Yes. Yes. Good and good to go. Okay. Um, let's see here. I know someone had, like, a psych psychic caramel. Uh, then again, I think it got stolen. Which is really unfortunate. And that is a yes. That got stolen. Dang it. Okay. We're rolling with what we have. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Say hello to the final boss. I think. Whoa. Whoa, why is it displaying Nessa's face? What is this? Porky? Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strongest and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gigas. 
Gigius will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigius and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigius, no. Gigius is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. Oh boy. And of course we have, we have the final battle here. We have heavily armored Porky and Gigius himself, who is still showing Ness's face for whatever reason. Regardless, we need to give this thing everything we got. We need to unleash all of our power and completely wreck this thing's face immediately. And also defeat poor Pokey before he causes any significant damage. Okay, now that I think about it, it probably would be best to attack him first. Uh, go for the shield and do that. Uh, spy on Heavenly Armored Porky first. And as far as this, we're going to go for... Thunder Omega. Let's do it. Ow. Oh dear. Boom, baby. Bring on the thunder. Bring on the lightning. Oh dear. So apparently if uh, thunder or anything strikes uh, Gigius... It seems as though, uh, it is reflected back at us. So, if I have to guess, we have to defeat Armored Porky first. By Porky, I mean Pokey. Okay, susceptible to Brain Shock. Interesting. Do we have such a spell? Um, Ness doesn't, but he can still, uh, hammer this thing home like a freaking freight train. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Freezing Omega on you. And... Actually... I have a Super Bomb. Whoops, that was the wrong item. Goods. Super Bomb. On th this butthole here. And it looks as though Pokey has just completely lost his mind. He is just... He's just gone. Completely gone. Alright, let's uh, try Brain Shock on all enemies here. Ow. And of course that still hits us anyway, because... Though we deflected the spell back at the enemy, it still hit him anyway. All right, let's see what this will do. A little strange and a little strange, cool. All right, at least that actually worked out quite nicely. Let's make sure Jeff is uh, fully healed and ready to go. You never know if he will end up dying or not. Definitely gonna be saving Star Storm for later and we have just enough PP to use it. I'm definitely going to try to hold on to the PP I do have left until after we defeat Heavily Armored Porky before we unleash PK Starstorm Omega. Okay, this is going to hurt. Okay. Damn it. There we go. Good hit, good hit. That's what I'd like to see. Unfortunately, it looks as though Pokey is uh, back to normal now, so that is really, really bad. But Gigius is still uh, feeling strange, which is really good for us anyway. Okay. Again, I don't want to use Star Storm just yet. I wish he would try using that on uh, himself or uh, 
Pokey. Ah, crap. Paula's dead. Oh, damn, that hurt. Okay, well, unfortunately, Lee, we couldn't quite uh, save Paula, which does suck. But, again, there's not really much we can do about that right now. Now... Oof. Okay. At least we brought Paula back. And this is a good time as any to bring our shield back up if we possibly can. And hopefully we'll be able to do so before she ends up getting killed. Do we have any other healing items here? Hmm. I do have brain food lunch, so let's give this to her. Okay. Oh crap, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Ow. Oof. Okay. Cool. At least that also heals PP along with HP, so that's always nice to see. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with this butthole here. Bash into you. Ow. Again, I really wish this could also deflect back at Gigius and deal damage to him, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening until we get rid of frickin' Pokey here. I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gigius. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gigius, is look Gigius looks like. If you were to ever see Gigius, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the Devil's Machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. Whoa. So, isn't this terrifying? <laughs> I'm terrified too. Gigius cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Oh dear. Alright, so all we have left now is Gigius himself, folks. <laughs> this is it. It's time to unleash all of our power. And let's power up our shield, make it so uh, we even have it in the first place. Then again, I think it's still engaged. It's just, uh, it's going to become stronger now. We'll see for sure, though. Let's see what Star Storm Omega will do. Ness, you cannot gas the true form of Gigius' attack. Ouch. Okay. And with that, our shield has now become stronger. Boom, baby! That is a lot of freaking uh, power right there, and I'm definitely happy to see that. <laughs> okay. Let's try Psychic Magnet. And as you're looking at this distorted image of Gigius here, it looks as though this is something you'd see in, like, one of those early YouTube poops featuring Zelda CDI. <laughs> no, seriously, that's what it looks like. It's just that frickin' deadly. <laughs> Quite interesting, to say the least. Alright, no PP, of course. Ouch. Ow. 
Okay, at least that wasn't too bad. That could have obviously been a hell of a lot worse, for sure. Oh, crap. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, wow, okay. Oddly enough, uh, that can, uh... That attack, whatever the attack is, it's a thunder-based attack, so the Franklin badge can uh, deflect the attack, which is nice. All right. Um... Let's see, the shield Omega is 42 PP, and that's 24. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use the shield anymore at this point, so we might as well throw down everything that we have and completely smack Gigius if we possibly can. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about using the Bring Food Lunch again on Paula, but I think I'll save that until after she deals the attack. Oh, crap! Okay, so apparently that also has the ability to insta-kill people. Interesting. Uh, crap. Well, thankfully we do have uh, several horns of life that we can use to bring back our friends if they end up dying. So it's not all bad news. Not, like, bad news bears for sure. Uh, bring food lunch on Paula now. Okay. All right. Now that Ness is back up on his feet, let's continue... Let's continue the battle. Now, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, completely smack this guy at some point. Ouch. Ouch. Ouchy ouch. Okay, it appears as though Jeff didn't receive very much damage from the attack for some reason. Definitely happy to see that. Alright. Uh, I better go ahead and heal Paula if I possibly can. Go with Beta because uh, that should uh, heal her completely. Um, shield, Omega, all of us. That'll do just fine. And as far as other items that we need to use, I don't think we really need anything else here. Let's go. Ness. Okay. Wow, only one HP of damage. Well, better than nothing, but it's still uh, very disappointing to see that the uh, HP dealt was so minimal. Minimal. All right, let's just unleash uh, Psychic Gaming Omega and see what we can do. Take this, Gigius! 635 damage. <laughs> You must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting, be, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ha! That's so sad, I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy, Ness? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm gonna wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetic, weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Oh man, this is where things really start to become hectic and quite fun, let me tell ya. Okay! Unfortunately, there's not really much else we can do at this point. 
Um, let's see. I really wish I had a, a little bit more uh, PP to use uh, Psychic Freeze. But the best I can really do is uh, Psychic Fire, Fire Beta. And you know what? Maybe I'll just go for Thunder instead and see if this will do anything. It probably won't, but we'll see. That is a no, and it actually hit him. Okay, at least he didn't have a shield. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Take this! Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, really? Missed, like, three attacks in a row? Are you kidding? I feel g good You cannot grasp the true form, of course. Ouchy, ouch. Great. Ouch. Okay. Better heal everyone now. Hmm... Oh dear. Come on, please. Thank you. Okay, at least we were able to save everyone just before someone ended up kicking the freaking bucket. That would have been incredibly bad. That's for sure. I'm ha happy. I wonder if the... Oh, damn. Shoot, Jeff is dead. Okay, then. Here you go, Jeff. Here's a horn of life. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Thank God I bought all those horns of life. Otherwise, uh, this would have been really, really bad. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Yep. Paula's dead. Crap. Damn it. And we wasted pee, pee as a result. Okay. Uh. Oh, right. I have the bag of Dragonite I can use. So, might as well go ahead and use it since uh, this is the final battle. And I'm gonna try... Hungry HP Sucker, maybe this will work. I don't think so, considering the fact that we're fighting the final boss here, but it's worth a shot. And Horn of Life on Paula. I feel good. Ow. Okay. Of course that didn't work. Oh well, it was worth a shot anyway. It was definitely worth a shot. Good hit, Paula! Good hit! Ow, ow, ouch. Okay. Ah, grr. Oh, ho. Oh, really? Only one HP worth of damage? Oh, well. At least it's better than nothing. Man, this is really getting intense. Ah, oh, damn it. At least whenever our bodies become solidified, it just simply means we're able to continue fighting. And, uh... It hurts, Ness. Oh, crap. Come on. Thank you. Oh, good hit, Ness. Great hit, man. I'm very happy to see that. Uh, sure, let's go for that. 
Man, this is really getting intense, man. Good. Damn. That hurt. I'm glad that Paula wasn't struck by lightning there. I'm definitely very happy about that. Unfortunately, Ness is running low on a uh, PP here, which is not good at all. So we're gonna have to keep in mind that uh, if we run out and use our PP in the wrong way, then, uh, <laughs> oh dear, this is definitely gonna become a lot harder. And yeah, Paul is dead. Damn. Damn it, man. Uh. Um, goods. Oh dear. I think we're out of horns of life. Okay, no. Not just yet. Friends. Okay, that missed. That missed. Good. Okay. Seems like everything's going okay so far. However, things can always go south very quickly as Gigius has proven over and over again. So, yeah, that's definitely something that's definitely worth noting. And Paula, of course, has the remaining horns of life. <laughs> so we gotta make sure she stays alive. Otherwise, uh, I think Ness can still use this. Yes, he can. He has enough. So he can at least bring back Paula if necessary. But it's like one of those things where we gotta make a choice. Either bring back Paula or heal the rest of us and continue fighting without her. It's gonna be a very difficult decision when the time comes. I guess one thing I could do is, uh, heal everyone one more time. But, uh, I don't know if that's going to be any good, do us any good. Considering the fact that everyone is almost at full HP, that would be kind of a waste right now. And that would not be a good idea. Come on, please! Well, at least we did something this turn. Granted, it was like one HP worth of damage. Good. Good. Okay, well, that's bad. Shield disappeared on Poe. That's not good. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. This is definitely gonna be a lot harder now, that's for sure, since everyone's shield is basically gone, and there's no way I can reactivate it, considering the fact that I used so much freaking pee, pee to get here in the first place. And all of my horns of life have basically been used up. Paula has the last remaining three, so if she dies, that's it. I'm so sad, Ness. Ow and ow. Great hit, Paula. You too, dude. Yes! Yeah! Great! I like seeing that. Oh, yeah! Now, okay, do I heal now, or do I wait it out? Um, let's heal now. Yeah, definitely, since Paula's below 100 HP. And she's gonna die anyway. Yep, she's dead. Damn it! Ah, damn it all. Alright. What are we gonna do here? Bring her back? Or heal ourselves and continue fighting without her? Uh, that is a very difficult decision. Since Paula is the only one who has the horns of life. And she's the only one who has them. I really think it might be best for us just to simply heal ourselves and continue fighting without her. As much as I hate to do it, yeah, I'm going for this instead. 
I really wish I had something else here. Like another healing item of any kind to bring back Paula. But Poe has no PP. We can't drain any PP whatsoever from Gigius himself since he doesn't have any. And of course he's shouting our name over and over. Oh man! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Paul. Poe is dead too! Ah, oh, Jesus, flip, man. Alright. Let's bring back Paula instead, if we can. And it looks like that's not gonna be happening. Okay. Unfortunately, since we don't have very much uh, PP left to spare, might as well use the last of it on this last attack and see if we can even do something. Anything. Anything will do. Anything at all. Okay, 97 HP. Now Jeff can't stop crying and there's really nothing we can do. Let's try praying and see if it'll help us. Ah, girl. Oh. Please give us strength if it's possible. Please, somebody help us. Oh, so that's what I had to do. Oh, I didn't realize that's what we had to do. Well, glad to know that that worked. That's how we can continue here. And it looks as though all of our friends or all the Mr. Saturns are gathering in one location. All of the Mr. Saturns felt a new startling feeling. They have never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. And so the battle continues. Gigius defenses became unstable! Okay. There! So that's what we had to do! That's what we had to do. We had to pray in order to uh, lower Gigius' defenses even further. It hurts. It hurts. I'm so sad, Ness. Go back. Oh, dear. And Paula's dead again. Crap. Man. Well, there's nothing more we can do now. Except auto battle and pray. Quite literally. It's not right, not right, right. Uh oh, man. Why didn't I realize this sooner? Oh well. I guess we can always try again, but I really hate the fact that this even happened. Uh, I wish I knew that's what I had to do in order to progress through the battle. And, uh, of course, it's all over, folks. It looks like we're not going to be able to defeat this guy right now on this attempt. It's so freaking bad. Yep. God damn it. Man, that sucked. Plus, we lost all of our freaking horns of life now, and there's no way we can get them back. <sighs> that is so freaking lame. Oh my god. Repair.
And I guess we'll record our progress. $39,449. Again, it's not like we can use money anymore, so what does it matter? <laughs> oh, man. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It just sounded like I have snot gathered in the back of my throat that I just simply can't get out. All right. Well, at this point, only thing we can do now is just go all the way back to Gigius and redo the entire battle all over again. It's really, really lame that we have to do that, but... Hey, at least now I know that uh, when we get to uh, the third phase of the Gigius fight, we have to pray in order to have our friends come and help us. There we are. Enemy defeated, and let's move on. And Ness has reached level 85. Nice. His defense went up by 1, maximum HP by 3, and that is it. Hey, any sort of level ups we gain trying to get back to where we need to be to the final battle will definitely be of a huge benefit, for sure. Simply due to the fact that we'll be that much stronger. And hey, that little uh, stat increase of any kind, it can mean the difference between life and death for everyone. Just saying. Alright. Well, with the Horns of Life I do have left, um, I guess I can uh, give these uh, to Ness. Give Ness goods and give Ness. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, god damn it. And of course, we're going to die again. Just because that happened. Ow. Yep, all because we got hit from behind. All because we got hit from behind and of course a ghost of Starman had to be here. Alright, let's just keep going. Keep going with the auto battle and see if we can uh, get rid of the Ghost of Starman first if we possibly can before he unleashes PK Star Storm Omega, which uh, that doesn't look like that's going to be happening. Alright, at least that was dealt with pretty quickly. <sighs> Still hate the fact that uh, it took us so damn long just to get through that. Actually, I think Alpha will be enough for Paula. Yeah, pretty much. I've also noticed... I've also noticed that the Ness and friends, when they're moving in their robotic forms, they do make noise. I know it seems kind of weird, but it's true. Okay. That was pretty easy enough. Again, it seems like the Ghost of Starman are the most powerful enemies that you have to deal with when you're in this place. Along with the Evil Eye, too. Those are also very dangerous. Okay, let's uh, go for that shield. Make sure everyone's fully protected. And of course that happened. Why? Why? Why in God's name did he outspeed us? That was complete bullcrap. Damn it, man. That is so freaking stupid. Ugh, damn it! God, I hate Starstorm when it's used against me! Are you kidding me? Why didn't that work on Paula? 
Is it one of those things where it randomly fails? Then again, maybe he was uh, targeting someone else by accident. I don't know. We gotta get strong enough to make it so we can get through this without having to use PP. Or very much of it. And at least this will help us in that journey with uh, Poe receiving another level up. He's now level 72. Awesome. His offense went by 3, defense by 3, speed by 1, luck by 2, maximum HP by 3, and that is it. Alrighty then. Let's use uh, Life Up Omega again. God, I wish I had some uh, PK healing items. Really, I really wish I did. <laughs> uh, this is what he meant by not being able to return at this point. Okay, uh, more like tweets on Twitter. Nothing really that spectacular. All right, let's move on. Ooh, a present. Super bomb. And Jeff has received a level up too. Awesome. He's now level 75. His offense went up by one, defense by one, guts by one, IQ by one, luck by one, maximum HP by one, and that is it. Okay. Well, at least it was something, to say the least. I'm definitely happy about that, that's for sure. Ooh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Butterfly. Thank you very much for making us relax. Even if it's just a little bit. Of course, we have a final star, man. fan frickin' tastic I pray to God that Paula can get off this shield before uh, Star Storm is unleashed and kills us all. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? Okay, at least this uh, will protect us. Well, at least our shield will protect us from the star storm. Oh dear. Ah, uh, man. Phew, another close call. God damn. And with that, Paula has reached level 76, folks. Awesome. Her offense went up by 2, speed by 2, vitality by 1, IQ by 2, luck by 1, and HP by 7. And also PV by 10. Sweet. Cool. Very happy to see that. Um... Let's just do life up, Omega. And of course. Of course we have more of these guys. And it's the same exact battle as before. Of course. It is. There you go, good hit. Although, it didn't really matter because that happened. Man, so freaking lame. God, I hate the freaking nuclear reactor so much. It just has a very annoying, annoying tendency to be able to, uh, Heal completely or heal their friend completely. Seriously, it's just that frickin' annoying. But really, the best thing we can do here is try to... Try to kill the frickin' final star man before things get really bad. Okay. 
Come on, man. We... Damn! Freaking shield disappeared. Wait. No, it didn't. Never mind. I'm crazy. Seriously, this nuclear reactor can seriously go jump in the lake. Okay. At least it only attacked this time. <sighs> Nuclear reactor plus final star man equals a super bad combo that is incredibly deadly and dangerous. It really is. There is no arguing that. Okay. I am thankful that the psychic magnet doesn't, uh, or PK magnet rather, it doesn't cost any PP to use, so I'm happy about that. Alright, good hit, everyone. All right, let's continue. Ow. Ouch. Phew. There we go. That took quite a long time. Like, way, way too goddamn long. That is for sure. And here we go again. Except this time we have a ghost of Starman. <laughs> Great. That makes things even better. Not. <laughs> Come on, man. And, of course, he outsped us somehow. Again. And now Paula is dead. So is Jeff. And so is Poe. Everyone is dead. Everyone is goddamn dead. Okay, apparently Paula just barely lived. Okay. Let's get through this nice and quick. I kind of wish the text would go a bit faster than it does currently. But... <laughs> it only or to do something like that, you kind of have to modify the game in some way. And that's not really something I can do at this point. And really, there's no point in doing that. That's just a bad idea. Oh, are you serious, man? My god. Fine, we'll do that. So that way we can get through this nice and quickly. I'm definitely glad that uh, Paula was able to outspeed the final Starman, but the Ghost of Starman is definitely one where, uh... It's definitely an enemy that can outspeed basically everyone, which is really, really bad. Alright, let's try to drain as much PP as we can before the final Starman is dead. Ow. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is gonna hurt. Okay, never mind. That wasn't that bad. Definitely thankful about that. And I'm also thankful that Ness has reached level 86. That is awesome. His offense went up by 3, IQ by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 3, and PP by 7. Cool. Definitely happy to see that. That is for sure. Okay. Back in we go. Alright, before we fight the final boss again, I'm definitely going to make sure that Ness is indeed fully healed. Even though it is going to cost PP to do it, it's, uh, 
well worth it. There we go. His max, his HP is maxed out. How about everyone else? Yes. Yes. And yes. Cool. All right, let's go again. Of course, we gotta get through all the dialogue yet again. In order to try this stupid crap again. <laughs> so lame that we have to sit through a big freaking dialogue tree. Thankfully, we can just speed right through these without too much of a problem. Okay. Let's go, Pokey. Poke. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's the strongest thing in the universe anymore. Just saying. We've definitely gotten stronger, though granted he did beat us the first time through. But that will change this time. And if not this time, then definitely next time. For sure. Just saying. Alright. Uh... Um... Best not to put up a shield. As stupid as that sounds, it's just completely pointless to put one up. Simply because uh, Gigius will uh, fire attacks that will constantly uh, bounce back to us. Anyway, so that's not exactly something that we can deal with. Okay, ow, ow, ow. Okay. I don't know if uh, using auto battle here is a good idea. Considering that auto battle has a tendency to uh, attack targets with the highest HP in priority first, it may not be such a good idea to use something like that. Just saying. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Ouchie ouch. And as expected, this is definitely the hardest fight in the entire game. Not because of uh, crits or anything, but it's more so got to do with the fact that uh, Gigius is a very powerful enemy to begin with. And... Considering that he is so strong, it can uh, really be very dangerous to fight this thing. Especially when that happens. And Paul is dead. So is Jeff. Okay, barely managed to save Paula. Unfortunately, we didn't quite make it to Jeff. Dang it, man! All right, let's uh, heal his ass. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a good idea to unleash PK Starstorm on uh, Gigius's first form here. Not until like form number two. Otherwise, uh, Things will get really, really bad really fast. And of course, Poe is dead! Ah, damn it. Paul is dead too. God damn it. Oh, come on! I don't want to use my horns of life this early in the fight. But it doesn't look like I have much of a choice now. Especially considering the fact that Armored Porky here, or Pokey, rather, just keeps completely wrecking my face. Uh, Star Storm? No. Uh, I wish I could use uh, Life Up Omega with Poe too, but no, can't quite do that. Damn it. Come on, man. This is annoying as crap. All right. 
right, let's try auto fight. Maybe Ness will be smart enough to, uh... Actually, no, it's all over. God damn it. Man, come on! How the hell did we get our ass kicked on the first phase of the fight? Perhaps the reason why is, uh... Due to the fact that I did not, uh, use, uh, PK shield at all. Maybe that's the reason. Yeah, that's gotta be it. It was the shield that helped us through the fight. And, of course, we have one of these asshats here again. Great. And now we are going to die. Really? He dodged all of our attacks. He dodged them all. Okay, except one. That's good. Okay. At least now it's just a simple matter of completely destroying the frickin' robot here. And thankfully we're not too far away from the ship, so we can just simply, uh, return to it and heal and pray that no more enemies show up within that general vicinity. But hey, at least Poe leveled up to, again at level 73. Awesome. His offense went up by one, defense by one, max maximum HP by one, PP by one, and that is it. Cool. Definitely happy to see that. Repair. Thank you very much. And of course, more would show up and hit us from behind somehow. Ow. Come on, man. Come on! Hit him! Damn it! Is it really that freaking hard to do? Jesus! Okay, well that was freaking stupid. Repair. Thankfully this does uh, heal all status elements too. I'm still not happy with the fact that we're getting our ass kicked so freaking hard. Again, it just seems like to me that we aren't under leveled at this point in the game. I don't know how, especially considering how far we made it through the final boss fight of the game. Perhaps... Perhaps it was just luck and the fact that we used the shield at the right time. That's gotta be it. Okay. At least that's done. And with that, Jeff is now level 76. Cool. His offense went up by 4, defense by 2, guts by 1, IQ by 2, luck by, by, by 1, maximum HP by 1, and that is it. Great level up, by the way. Gained a large majority of the stats by at least one, so I'm happy to see that. Also not happy to see this asshat again. Thankfully, Paula can now outspeed this guy. So, that's nice. Ooh, great! Great crit, man. Happy to see that. Of course, he would fully heal, making all the critical hits we've done up to that point completely worthless. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that the, he doesn't have the ability to bring back uh, fallen comrades. But I don't plan on finding out if that's truly the case or not anytime soon. Right now, we have another level up. Paula has reached level 77, folks. Her offense went up by 1, guts by 1, maximum HP by 1, and that is it. Okay. Not very many stat gains, but it's still better than nothing, that's for sure. All 
Alright, I need to start using Psychic Magnet with uh, Paula now. Considering the fact that we've made quite a large trek up to this point. Okay. I wonder if he can use this, sh this too. Okay. Well, Poe didn't gain any, uh, PP, and that's fine. At least this guy also has, uh, PP, so I'm happy to see that. It just simply means we can drain PP from this guy to our heart's content. Until he eventually runs out. Which, uh, I know that sounds kind of, uh, counterproductive from what I mentioned earlier. But even so. Okay. He's done. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Thankfully, though, uh, we are getting to the point where uh, eventually we can uh, just simply plow right through the, these guys within uh, like one or two turns. Eventually. I think we have to reach at least level 90 before that happens. However, we are slowly yet surely getting to that point. It's a slow and steady process for sure, but eventually we will reach it. Okay, there you go. Good job. I just hate the fact that these guys explode upon dying. And that does annoy me because they deal so much freaking damage when they do die. Also, thank you, Butterfly, for being here to heal our PP once again. Very happy to see that. Now that this game is uh, about to come to an end, I haven't really thought too much about uh, what it is I want to do next as far as my next playthrough. I do have a few ideas lined up, though I'm still deciding on uh, what game I want to do. It's still a work in progress. But, as I mentioned, I do have a couple of ideas. One of those ideas being uh, Bomberman 64, the second attack. But, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that game in particular just yet. But, I'm thinking about it. I was thinking of playing uh, Quest 64 next throughout the majority of this playthrough. However, um... Uh... I kind of want to step away from RPGs for a while, because this is like the second uh, RPG I've done in a row. Like, second or third. Something to that extent. Regardless, uh... I definitely... want to play something different, from a different genre. Also, why did I have Poe do that? He already has maximum PP, so <laughs> that was pointless. Oh well. There you go. At least we got some PP back for Paula, so I'm definitely happy to see that. Oh come on, why'd you miss? There we go. He's done. Okay, not too bad for experience there. Happy to see that, for sure. Alright, next stop is over here. And of course, we got even more trouble. <laughs> Better make it double. We have a uh, Bionic Kraken. Okay, let's see if uh, the shield will make his tornado attack disappear. Ow. Ouch. Ow. And Paula is dead. God damn it. Man. I hate that stupid crap. Especially considering now I have to, uh... 
crap. I think Jeff is dead too. Okay, not yet. Hopefully we can heal him fast enough. Ow! Come on! I just brought her ass back too! There goes another 20 PP! God damn! This just makes me wish more and more. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ, I'm a freaking bicycle man! Of course. Okay. You know what? Let's just go auto fight and see what happens. Okay, we win. Phew! Still, that was annoying as crap. Can't believe I've wasted so much goddamn pee pee on a frickin' Kraken. It's just due to the fact that he has so many AoE attacks that it's not even funny. And of course, we got this ass hat back again. Okay. Let's deal with this butthole. Okay. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do when we reach uh, Gigius again, instead of using uh, Shield Omega, we're gonna use the Shield Echo instead. That way we can uh, just simply absorb the damage without the need of bouncing it back. That'll probably make things a lot easier, and I should have done that from the very beginning. Honestly, I think uh, that would be the best idea to do. Best thing to do. For sure. We'll have to wait and see. Hey, at least Poe received another level up. He's le level 74 now. Awesome. His offense went up by one, defense by one, de speed by one, vitality by one, IQ by one, maximum HP by 11, and PP by four. Cool. Very happy to see that for sure. Okay, we finally... Okay, we're not there just yet. We still have trouble. And death. Because that happened! And everyone died. Again. The end. Yep, everyone's dead. Just because that happened. All the goddamn time. Sadly, Life Up Omega didn't quite get through in time to heal Jeff. And of course, he ended up getting killed as a result. Why the hell didn't that work? Okay. God damn it, Poe. Why'd you miss? Okay. I wonder if Alpha can drain more PP, theoretically, from a single enemy as opposed to Omega. I don't know. I never really uh, thought about it, but it may actually heal more. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. God damn it. There we go. At least he's dead now. And Jeff barely lives. For now. And Ness has reached level 87, folks. That is awesome. His offense went up by 2, defense by 1, guts by 1, vitality by 2, IQ by 1, and maximum HP by 22, 
And PP by 10. Sweet. Very happy to see those results, man. Very, very happy. I'm also very happy that not every single one of those diamonds decide to come in and ruin our faces. That would have been incredibly bad. Okay, just gotta keep trying to steal as much PP as we can from these enemies. It's really the best way of uh, gaining more PP to be ready for the final battle ahead. Of course, we need to even get there in the first place before anything else. Of course, that's not going to be easy, considering the enemies here are the strongest yet. Oh, come on. Really? And, of course, Jeff is dead. Okay, not yet. Oh, man, it just seems like the enemies here... It seems like their level is scaling with mine. So what the hell is up with that? I also wish I could drain the frickin' PP as a nuclear reactor, but it doesn't have any to drain to begin with, so that is incredibly lame. And the only thing we can do about these guys is just to bash them until eventually they die. Of course, that's not going to be the easiest thing in the world, for sure. And with that, Jeff has reached level 77, folks. That is awesome. His speed went up by 1, maximum HP by 3, and that is it. Kind of a lame level up, but hey, it's better than nothing. That's for certain. Okay, at least we finally made it back here. I really wish there was a butterfly in here that Ness and friends can utilize. But... Sadly, that's just not the case here. Unless maybe we have to take a certain path in order to get to uh, the final boss here. In order to get a butterfly to show up. I don't know. Again, your guess is as good as mine at this point. Okay. Everyone's HP is maxed out, so... Alright, let's do this once more with feeling. Third time's the charm, am I right? I sure as hell hope so. Okay, let's go. Let's go once again. Let's do this thing. Hello, Pokey. We meet again. I'm no longer surprised that you're even here in the first place. I was the first time, but not now. Especially not now. Alright, here we go again. Time to fight Gigius once more. Let's do this. All right. Okay, at least this shield uh, will just completely nullify all of uh, Gigius's attacks now, which is very, very nice. Of course, Pokey is not going to make things easy for sure. Just considering the fact that the, he has the ability to lower our defenses by a pretty significant amount every time we uh, even do it. Um... Let me try Psychic Magnet Omega. Okay. Damn it, dude. Alright, 5 PP, 3 PP. Cool. At least this is a good idea to uh, drain PP from uh, both Gigas as well as the heavily armored Pokey. At least until the next phase of the fight, in which case you can't do that anymore. Okay. Well, the shield unfortunately disappeared. 
for all party members, which does suck. That means we have to put it back up again. And we have to make it fast. Otherwise, things are going to get incredibly deadly incredibly quickly. Thankfully, though, Paula can still outspeed both Giganus as well as uh, heavily, heavily armored Pokey. And I'm definitely happy to see that. Okay. Ow! Damn! Well, I'm definitely glad we managed to save Paula from dying. Seriously, why'd you attack the main boss? That's dumb. You need to attack the heavily armored pokey. That's what you need to do here. You can't be fooling around. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it seems like uh, the shield can only like withstand two of a uh, two or three of Gigius's attacking rounds. So, that is something to keep in mind. And, of course, Paula's about frickin' dead again. God damn it. Oh, my God. I tried to go for auto-fight so that way I can uh, quickly heal Paula before she dies. But it doesn't look like that's happening because Ness is a goddamn idiot. And so is everyone else, apparently. Ugh, god damn it, man. And now everyone's going to die because we couldn't get Paula back up on her feet fast enough. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Damn it! Jeff is dead. Poe is dead. Paula is dead, too. Jesus Christ! Again, it's just due to the fact that the uh, freaking Porky, Pokey, I keep calling him Porky for some stupid goddamn reason. Regardless. Regardless, this shit is annoying as crap. Of course. I have no choice. I gotta bring everyone back as fast as I possibly can. Is it me, or does it seem like this fight keeps getting harder and harder? Seems like no matter what I do, I can't do anything. No matter how hard I goddamn try. Maybe it's because I'm not using the most powerful shield. But, again, I... That's just not gonna work. It honestly isn't. It's just not gonna work because... Of that. Every time. Okay. We need to get Jeff a shield now. Okay, at least we made it through the first phase of the fight. God damn, that was freaking bad. And things are only going to get harder as we are progressing onward to the second phase now. I uh, hate the fact that the... Okay... Shut up, shut up. Okay. Bring back Poe if we can. Let's see if praying will work on this phase. I don't think this is the phase where uh, praying works, but we'll see. Ouch. 
Ouch. Okay. Okay, so this is not the face where praying will uh, summon the courage and break through the third face. Break the face. That's not uh, how it works here. Okay. Um, better use a psychic magnet if we can. At this point, I don't think that's going to work, but we'll see. Nice hit. Yep, no more PP. So, there's no way we can uh, get any more PP for the remainder of the battle. So, that's really bad. <laughs> so, what this means is I have to keep whatever PP I do have left to uh, make sure Ness has enough PP to bring back everyone again and again. Ouch. Ouch. Thankfully, that thunder-like attack seems to only attack twice, which is pretty nice. But it is also kind of random, too. So, that is something else to keep in mind. Ow. God damn it. Okay. Well, this is definitely gonna be one hell of a battle for sure. Thankfully, I will say this. This fight is nowhere near as bad as the final boss from Final Fantasy VIII. That battle was just really, really bad. Just simply due to the fact, again, that that is literally RNG, the boss fight. I hate that crap. God damn it. Okay. That phase is done. Alright, shut up. Shut up, Pokey. Shut up. I know. <laughs> This is the point in the battle where we need to use uh, the power of prayers. Okay. Let's heal this numbness from Jess, pray with all of our might, and get ready for the final phase. Please give us strength. Somebody help us. Thank you very much. <laughs> At least now I know this is exactly what we have to do in order to progress. Because attacking before during the third phase of the fight was completely pointless. It seemed as though his uh, defenses were completely impenetrable. So, yeah, that's a, that was definitely a lesson learned. Especially now. Now we have a much better chance at uh, finishing this battle knowing this fact. Now, I believe we are going into the final phase. This should be the final phase. If it's not, then God help me. God help me, please. Defenses became unstable, which is great, as we're heading into the final phase of the fight. Okay, here we go. I don't want to unleash uh, PK Gaming at all because that drains a ton of frickin' PP. Um, let's get rid of uh, Poe's Crying if we can. Um, I wonder if a uh, Psychic Magnet will be of any help. I don't think it will, but it's worth a shot. Wait, doesn't someone have a super bomb? How about defense shower? Uh, and let's go with the bag of Dragonite. Friends. Ah, girl. Oh, Ness. 
Oh dear. Ouch. Okay, and no PP. There you go. I used life up beta by accident. Whoops. Crap. I meant to use healing beta. Oh well, at least uh, Poe is healed. So that's something. Alright. I wish I could use PK Star Storm one more time, but unfortunately it seems like the best thing I can do is either heal or uh, use something else. Or go for another attack. Uh, I better keep the PP I do have left for Poe for right now until uh, we need him to heal someone. It's not right. Not right. Not right. Go back. Ow. Okay, at least that did something. And this does make our shields just a little bit stronger as a result. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go for this. Heal Paula if we possibly can. Actually, maybe it would be a better idea to heal everyone. Yeah, let's go for that instead. Maybe we'll try praying again. Maybe it'll do something useful. It hurts. It hurts. I'm so sad, Ness. It hurts, Ness. Great hit, dude. Please give us strength. Oh, okay. Hello. I guess we have to keep praying. That is definitely something I did not know. Interesting. Suddenly... One of the Runaway Five felt uh, something stopping him, and he prayed fervently with all of his might, along with everyone else. Well, what happened now? 44 damage. Okay, not bad. I guess we'll keep praying. The power of prayers. Ah, grr. Oh, Ness. Ness. This is gonna hurt. Ooh, great hit! Send this prayer to all the people of the earth. All right, what we got here? Ooh. Wow. Everyone from the Polestar School. Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. That is awesome. Let's see what this will do. 90 HP. Okay, not bad. We need to continue with the power of prayer. For sure. Healing beta. Go for Jeff. Pray. And go. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. Let's see what this will do. Meanwhile, back at the orphanage where Jeff was originally at, it seems as though the power of prayer is reaching them too. And everyone is praying with all of their heart. For everyone whom we've interacted with throughout an entire adventure, suddenly Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. That is awesome! Keep unleashing the power of prayer! Nice! Ah, yeah! Ah, yes! A million of them! I'm so sad! Oh dear. Oh, no. Damn it. 
Uh. Oops, that was the wrong ability. Healing Poe. Pray. And let's see. Let's try a defense shower. Please grant us power. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. Yes, please. We need all the help we can possibly get. And so it seems like the people over at Poe's hometown have all started to gather and pray for his safety. A young woman in Dalem woke from a dream in which Prince Poe died and she began to pray for the well-being of Poe and his friends. Definitely glad to see that. This should help. Let's see how much damage this does. 348! Excellent! Okay. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Ouch. All right. By the power of prayer, we shall continue to fight with all of our might. Healing Beta Paula. Please grant us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, we ask for this. We ask for this. Meanwhile, at a local pizza stall, suddenly Frank re recalled Ness's shining young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Definitely good to see. It's almost as if uh, Paula is a priest performing an exorcism, and each prayer is c becoming more and more powerful as we continue the fight. Definitely happy to see that. Damn it! Jeff is dead. Ah, shoot on a freaking boot. Come on, man. We can do this. We can pray. I feel good. I'm so sad. I know. I know this isn't right. You're feeling the way you are. Oh, no. Damn it! Ah, shit on the freaking boat, man! Poe and Ness got killed instantly. Please, let this be the one that will kill Gigius once and for all. What's going on? What's going on here? Suddenly, Ness's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of it, her son and his friends. And it's not just her, but uh, King, as well as Ness's sister, too. Nice! 1731 damage! And I think that is the final phase. Crap! I'm happy, friends... I thought that was it! I guess not. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us! Paula's call was aborted by the darkness. Oh, crap. Well, this isn't good. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Please. Paul and her friend's call touched the heart of... Uh, uh, I don't know who that is. Prayed for the kids and revolver mic. Nice! 3337 damage to Gigius. Good. Uh, or all I've... I've Okay. <laughs> good, 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 go, go! Just snivy, keep praying. 
Yes, please. I'm praying with all my might. 13,400 damage. I kept praying. <laughs> yes! Keep going. Yeah! <laughs> yes! He's dead. By the power of prayer, we have defeated the final boss. I'm surprised that Paula managed to pull this off. Ness, now I, well, it's going to seem like I'm running away. But perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? <laughs> Definitely not you, Pokey. Not at all. <laughs> oh, dear. I really hope this is the end, because I don't think Paula can stand to fight for very much longer. We only got lucky thanks to the power of prayer helping us getting through the end of the fight and everything. But, yeah. It looks as though this is the end. Since the whole battle thing was uh, completely eliminated. And that happens. It looks as though the world just ended, but thankfully that's not really the case. Or is it? I have no idea. Either way, things are dark right now. Whoa! The war against Gigius is over. And thus our robot husks are left behind just outside of his area, outside of his door. But the question is, are our souls saved? Will we be able to return to our bodies? It looks as though that's going to be the case. Maybe. We will have to see as we... As our souls leave the robotic bodies behind... And return to a time from whence we came. Maybe. We will have to wait and see. And that looks like a yes. We have returned to our own time. Everything has been restored. Peace has returned. Oh yeah, that feels good. Poe is back up on his feet. Now Jeff is back as well, which is awesome. Followed by... Who else? Paula. Which is awesome. And finally, last but not least, Ness. His soul has returned to his body too. Everyone made it out of this whole ordeal alive. Which is really surprising that we're all here, once again. Everything is back to normal, as it seems. Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalim and use this experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. Psychic farewell, now! I'll see you again someday. I must go. My planet needs me. Whoa. Looks like a couple of presents landed, too. That must be uh, Poe's final gift to us. Paula, Ness, it was a great... It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, <laughs> maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Adonuts. I mean, from my dad. 
So, it looks like this is a goodbye for now, my friends. Alrighty, Jeff. Take care. I hope you learn a lot and hope you can find a way to cure cancer. That would be the greatest gift of all. For all of humanity. Ness, will you escort me home? Yes, I will. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Alright, let's see what we got in here. There's a letter from the kids inside. And... So, Paula is the only party member left. Let's, uh, let's see what this says. A letter from the preschool kids to Paula. Dear Paula, how are you going? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Pole Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at Polster Preschool. Aw, that's nice. Let's see what we got in here. A letter from Mom. That is awesome. And in here we have a letter from Tony. All right. Let's read them all. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat pizza as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, King, and Tracy, King, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Aww, that's cute. Let's see what Tony's letter have to say. Dear Jess, everything really, everything's going really great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead of sitting here waiting for you in winters, I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty if you come back. I'll clean them for you. And I got an email from CompTIA's uh, weekly read. Okay, nothing really to worry about. But like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Aww. It was fun hanging out together. Yes, it was. It's a miracle. A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the face distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientists and four kids saved the world. <laughs> The chances of Gigius gaining victory with this monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gigius fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. It's not that difficult to understand. It was in winters th that we last met. I got here. I just got here. Tee hee hee. Incredible. Excellent. I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If we ever have a chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. That sounds like fun. I'd like that. Uh, uh, was scared. Was, uh, scared? Yeah, let's go with that. Now, Kale, I strong. Doing. Oh, oh! <sighs> uh, breathe is so good. Zoom! I am Dr. Saturn Zoom. Sure. Okay. I guess we can still heal up if necessary. I do what I say. Cross heart. Aw, that's nice. Alright, and I think in here we can save our progress one more time. Hello, Ness. So you, you, you can finally come home? So that means... Oh, thank heavens! You did it and you're safe! 
I'm not exactly sure what you did, but anyway, if you come home quick, I'll make some pizza. Get here as soon as you can. I can't wait to see your bright and shining face. Click. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'm sure you get... You get... I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely. But I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. And at this point, we can't record our progress anymore. Which, that does make sense considering the fact that we're at the very end of the game. So, there's not really much else we can do now. We're fully healed, we're rested up, and we're ready to leave. I think new things, diff difficult things from now. Okay. Happy doing. More happy do- Ding, ding! Much more happy doing doodles. Big, big happy zoom! Well, I'm happy to hear that everyone else is happy. Okay. It looks as though uh, nothing else has changed here. It's basically all the same at this point now. I just wonder, can I use teleport? I can. Now then. Let's use teleport and get ready to head to... I guess we'll try Tucson first. I think this is where I need to go. This is where we need to go to be able to escort Paula back home. So, let's go. Time to head back home. Time to head back and, uh... Yeah, this is definitely where we need to be. So, I'm definitely happy to see that we have finally returned home. At long last, it looks as though the world is now in peace. About time. Very happy to see that for sure. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Aww. So long, Paula. It's been an honor and it's been fun journeying with you. And I hope we can do it again in the near future. You've lost some weight since I saw you last, Ness. Paula must have gained... has... must have had quite an adventure. I'm glad you l live so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working at making better pizza. Aw, that's sweet. I'll definitely keep that in mind. You're a very strong young man. My opinion for you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Paula. Just treat her right. Come by and visit any time. You can even sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. <laughs> uh, you're funny, young old man. Very, very funny. Ness, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone's probably worried about you. Indeed it is. It's finally time to return home to our good old town of Onnit. Or is it pronounced Wonnit? Who knows? I've always called it Onnit because the song Get Down On It. It just makes way too much frickin' sense. Regardless, it's time to head out. Time to return home to where we belong. On it, here we come. And after a long, long journey, we have finally returned home to On It. 
It's been a long, long road, but I'm finally here. Moving inch forward, it feels like a year. I've said the same exact thing when I was about uh, finished with Yoshi's Woolly World quite a while ago. But regardless, it's basically the same here. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Um. Once you start looking at the album, you can't stop. Oh, so, uh, you can actually go around the world and talk to everyone whom you've ever met and just, uh, chat up the world and, uh, see what they have to say now that peace has been restored. And once you start looking at the album, it's the end of the game. Salutations! You're the boy living next door. I heard that your family is in debt. Mr. Minch told me about it. Well, live and learn. You just have to keep plugging away. As usual, you're wearing your grubbies. So, what do you want? My son isn't home right now. He's walking around somewhere. My husband is also gone. Oh, yes. This is Mr. Pennyman. He always has a great... He always has great advice. He's a real gentleman, he is. You'll be happy that you met him. Wow. Well... It seems as though her face features haven't changed, but it looks as though her personality completely turned around. And what about you? I haven't seen you in a while. You look cool. I'm nowhere near as cool as you. I'm just average cool. Hmm. It seems as though this uh, kid here has returned to his senses. Is he pokey? Or is he someone else? Who knows? Yeah, I think that's uh, Pokey's brother. I'm not 100% sure. But there is one more thing I definitely want to do real quick before we call it a day. Or at least uh, call it a game, rather. I want to see if that meteorite is still up there at the very top of the mountain. Or at the very top of this... Uh, place. It may still very well be. We may even find something else here. You're being vain, Ness. Life is not that easy. You just saved the earth from a crisis. Don't act so stuck up. When I was younger, I too saved the earth many times. I live a modest life. That's the way it should be. Don't you think a real hero is someone like me? Um, yeah, I think so. When you grow up, why don't you become my partner and we'll make lots of money. <laughs> I seriously wonder what's down that ladder, though. Perhaps it... I will never know since uh, I never even bothered to come back here again. Seems like a big meteorite landed here not too long ago. Okay, well the meteorite is still here, still seems really hot, and there's really nothing else we need to worry about here. The world is in peace once again, which is uh, very nice to see. However, I think we're ready to bring this adventure to a close completely. I don't know if there's really anything else that's worth uh, mentioning at this point. Of course, we can continue to go around and just uh, say hello to people over and over again. And uh, see what they have to say now. But I have been going on for four hours... More like 3 hours and 35 minutes at this point, and I don't want to push 4. But, we'll see. Yep, I finished everything I wanted to do. Okay, now we can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. Thank you, man. And so, Ness shares his experience uh, with his mother and family. Eventually, we will see Dad once again. Maybe. We'll see for sure. As we bring this adventure to a close. And there we go, folks. That is the end of Earthbound. 
And now I think we get a freaking roll call. Okay, so that was picky, not pokey. So that was interesting. So now I think at this point we're getting like a roll call of everyone whom we encountered in the entire game up to this point. Or just throughout the entire adventure. But anywho, I'm very happy to say that this adventure is finally over. 11 play sessions it has taken to have completed the adventure. But regardless, I'm still happy that it turned out the way it did. I've had a lot of fun playing through this game. It was definitely an experience, for sure, and one I will not be forgetting anytime soon. But, yeah, this was definitely a fun ride. It really was. There was a lot of weirdness in this entire game, but that's just what gives the game its charm from what I've experienced. And if you can get your hands on this game either on Wii U Virtual Console or the SNES Classic Edition, definitely do so if you can. However, at this point, uh, since the SNES Classic Edition is uh, discontinued again, you may not have a choice and you have to get the Wii Virtual Console or, no, Wii U Virtual Console version of the game. So, yeah, that's basically what you have to... Deal with, unless you want to hunt down a physical copy of the game on SNES, in which case, good luck. <laughs> it's very expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. It's worth playing through this game at least once and experiencing everything that the game has to offer. Man, this was truly a fun game, and I'm very happy to have been able to play through it here for you all today. And I'm very glad to have... Uh, been able to finish the game as well. It was truly fun and I'm very happy with the way this turned out. It was truly a fun and also pretty fun or no. It was still a very fun and weird adventure and I recommend it to anyone who uh, is interested in games like these. And I need a drink. Dang it. <sighs> Excuse me. Phew. But yeah, that's it, folks. That is Earthbound. That is the main game. I'm not 100% sure if there's uh, any sort of major post-game stuff that we need to worry about here. Or if there's any super bosses that we need to worry about too. Or major side quests. But regardless, regardless, the adventure is definitely over. And I'm going to be moving on to another game. As far as what game that is, I am still deciding. I'm still deciding on what game I'm going to do, but I do have a few ideas as I've mentioned before. And I'll definitely decide on uh, what game to do by next week. Just a heads up. Um, a heads up is there's not going to be a stream on Monday because I have to take my mother to a doctor's appointment. And it is something very major. It's something that has to be done. Don't worry, she's not in any sort of uh, serious trouble or anything. Don't worry about that, but regardless, it's an obligation that I do have to do in order to, uh, in order to do, I don't even know. It's something I do have to do. It's something that's planned and it must be done. And yeah. So, the next uh, playthrough is going to begin next Friday, if I play my cards correctly. We will have to wait and see what happens. Alright, at this point now, the photographer man is just going to be showing us all the pictures that we've taken throughout the entirety of our adventure. So, all those instantaneous moments that we've had up to this point, um... 
all the pictures are going to be displayed here as we just go through and uh, view all the ones that we have. And there's quite a lot to go through. But yeah. <laughs> as I've mentioned time and time again, again, this is a truly fun adventure. And I highly recommend it to anyone who uh, is a fan of RPGs. I've known very little about Earthbound to begin with. I know that there's actually a prequel game on the Wii U Virtual Console known as Earthbound Beginnings. That was like a recent translation from Nintendo themselves and uh, it only came around like a couple of years back. It only came here to the States a few years back. So if they were able to bring that game over here to the States by means of the Wii U Virtual Console, um, why not Earthbound 3? Which is what fans really want in the Earthbound series the most. They want Mother 3. They really do. Considering the fact that it was released on Wii U Virtual Console via the Japanese version of the Wii U Virtual Console, but not anywhere else, there may be hope, but we'll have to see if it comes to Switch. If it does, if the... Not necessarily the Virtual Console service itself, but more like uh, the structure of the Virtual Console service. Hopefully that will be coming to the Switch at some point. Sure, we get access to NES games now, but that's only for those who uh, subscribe to N Nintendo Switch Online. But <laughs> uh, even so, even so, it's still worth mentioning. Hmm. I'm not really sure how I feel about Nintendo Switch Online. A lot of people really don't like the service, and for good reason, because, well, to be quite frank, the online infrastructure is still really bad. It's like they can't get online right no matter what they do. And what's the an even bigger insult is that A, there's no dedicated servers for any games, especially first or second party games. And what's even more is that you're paying for Switch Online even though you were able to play online like a year and a half for like a year and a half of the Switch's life cycle. So that is uh, unfortunate, but again, it is business. And unfortunately, it is something we do have to deal with to this very, very day. Whether you're playing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch, you do have to pay for online. Unless you're playing on PC, in which case you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. <laughs> Unless you're paying for something else, which is like EA Access or something to that extent, or... Xbox Live Game Pass, or even Xbox Live in general. Gaming is expensive. It always has been. And it seems to me that it's only going to get more expensive as time goes on. But, anywho, I think we're about done here. We just got the credits left. Hm. Player me, General Snivy. <laughs> Uh, way to thank me in the credits, dude. Definitely happy to see that. And I don't know if we can get out of this whatsoever or if there's any more to the credit sequence. That looks like a no. There's nothing else that I can do at this point. So, <laughs> it's one of those games where the only way to uh, return to uh, where you were previously is to exit out of the game, more or less turn it off, and then turn it back on again and return to your previous save point. So all the levels that we gained are... Oh. Okay. Now we just have a black screen. What the hell? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a while now. Um, no. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm, what's this? Is this a new game plus? What's going on? Someone's knocking at the door. Um, let me check my goods. I still have all my items. Still have the Horn of Life. What's going on here? Um, all the presents that I found in the world are still opened. Hmm, this is weird. My land. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Alright, let's take a look. Whoa! A letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It's addressed to Ness. There's no stamp and it's not time time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Uh, I wonder where he is. Oh! That was part of the ending! I had no idea! Holy crap! So, it appears that the... Pokey wants us to get him. What is that all about? Nobody knows, but... Oh! Okay! I did not know about this. <laughs> that is to be expected. And it looks like, once again, we are indeed stuck here. Great! Alrighty then. Now it's over. Now it's over for sure. So, I guess we'll call it a day here. This is General Snivy with the Earthbound Blind playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you were able to attend the live streams live, thank you for attending. And I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough, by the way. The next time I play a new game, the next time I stream, we will be playing a new game and beginning another adventure anew. As far as what game that's going to be, that's still up in the air. But as I've mentioned time and time again, I have some ideas and that is something I'm going to be figuring out. Regardless, I'm done. Thank you all once again so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all on the flip side.